A defensive specialist, Michael Cooper was a key player in the Laker dynasty of the 1980s. A five-time member of the league's all-defensive team, Cooper was often assigned to guard the opponent's leading scorer. After winning five NBA titles, Cooper coached the Los Angeles Sparks to a WNBA title, and he's earned the admiration of current Laker Brian Shaw. I thought about Michael Cooper when I first, uh, you know, first started watching him play. Cooper is just a sensational basketball player. But he was somebody because he was always where the action was. The young man wants to be on the all-defensive team every year. You know, I thought that he was a guy that was fearless out on the court. Whenever there was any action, loose balls, Cooper seemed to be there. What a play by the defensive player of the year. The Lakers' great it's sixth man, Michael, Michael Cooper was honored as the 1987 NBA Defensive Player of the Year. A remarkable achievement because it's usually an honor held for starting players. Coop would actually develop, while the game was going on, a hatred for the person that he was guarding. He wanted to pump fear in their heart, shadow them everywhere they went. You know, he has that look on his face, you know, that fearless look like a dog, like, I'm going to get you. When you are the leading shot-blocking guard in the league, now you are an intimidator in two factors, not only because of defensive position, but also because you block shots. In this picture, he's guarding Dennis Johnson. Looks like he's uh, blocking one of his shots. Wow, that was a beautiful defensive effort by Michael Cooper. In this picture, he's guarding Larry Bird, so that shows the versatility that he has. He can guard a point guard, he can guard a small forward or a power forward. If it was the other team's top scorer, he was a stopper, and that's who he was going to guard. Well, one thing you'll notice, he always has his strings out. So I don't know if that was something that he had a superstition about or whatever, but he always seemed to have his strings out. What also brought attention to him was the fact that he, he chose to wear his socks as high as he, as he did. And it really made him stand out because he was so skinny. When I thought about how Michael Cooper dressed, the first thing that popped in my mind is just tight. So now you see how tight the, the jersey is fitting. You can see all his muscles in the jersey. Well, this is how his suits fit. That European model look is, is back now. So maybe Coop knew something then that we didn't know now. A guy that was so skinny, you know, sometimes his pants would be so tight you could see his calf muscles and his, and his quad muscles through his pants. <laughs> Michael Cooper, the sixth man, the man who does it all. They call me Coop. My main up around the Coop, you know, was a was an underrated leaper. You know, I know that he can get up. But right here, you see his head is almost. He had to duck to, to uh, avoid from hitting the backboard right here. He's probably on the end of one of Magic's uh, Cooper loops. Log for Cooper, which is something that I would have loved to play with him and thrown to him. What better player to pattern yourself after than a Michael Cooper? Michael Cooper is the type of guy that gives you all the intangibles. I can say that I'm proud to, to try to follow in a guy like his footsteps. That's it for this week's show. Remember.